While getting vaccinated doesn't mean you'll never get COVID, it does help protect you from severe side effects, hospitalization and death. And but are all the vaccines out there actually created equal and can combining them increase your protection? 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido explains how they all stack up against the Delta variant. In labs across Tampa Bay, scientists continue their research into the COVID-19 pandemic. This stage is really kind of scary because this new variant, the Delta variant, is, is really transmissible. That's why virologist Dr. Michael Tang thinks Florida's vaccination rate needs to increase. Seven months after vaccines became available, only 50% of the population has gotten a shot. It's really important for us to cut transmission of this virus. Um, vaccinations, masks. So now anyone that's just gotten one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine is trying to double up to make sure that they're protected from the Delta variant. Scientists here at USF Health say that mixing is actually more common than you think. We have a lot of data now showing numerous people that have mixed the COVID vaccines together across different types of brands, and there has been no really reports whatsoever of any problems with doing that. While data is limited, epidemiologist Dr. Jill Roberts says a supplement to one shot of the j and J vaccine can help protect you against the virus, but it's not recommended. If you're vaccinated with two doses already with Pfizer, you probably don't need to have that conversation. Statistics show Pfizer and Moderna are both about 80 to 90 percent effective at blocking the Delta variant. The one dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine stands around 60 percent. A lot of people were taking the Johnson Johnson because one and done was a great strategy to get as many people vaccinated as as possible. The you know the issue is. It was always a little bit less effective as a single dose. If you're just looking at the numbers, you think, well, maybe if I get a shot, uh, an mRNA shot as a booster, then I'll have better immunity. Scientists say while the majority of vaccine mixing has happened abroad, it has happened here in the U.S. too. However, before you go to get another COVID-19 shot, they recommend that you talk to your doctor to make sure it is safe for you. But vaccines can only work if you actually get one. And right now, Florida is still largely unprotected. Just take a look at how each county in our area stacks up. Sarasota is the highest at 68%, far above the state average of 60%. Pinellas and Manatee are just behind that at 58%. Hillsborough and Pasco are at 55%. Polk is at 51%. These rates include anyone with at least one dose. Getting more people vaccinated is key to winning the battle against COVID. Here is a resource for finding where you can get a shot. Go ahead and take out your phone and scan that QR code. It will take you to a link where you can find where to get a vaccine near you, whether it be a pharmacy or at your local health department.